Hello and welcome back. Let's continue this story. Already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. <sighs> so you don't have to be a dick. Hero wall, hero sword, ice wall, ice, human. Mine now. This is mine. I claim. Dead. Renato hated gogglers, and it freaked him out to cut them. Oh, I didn't want to do that. So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lupino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lupino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong, thought Renardo. This is going to be fun, said Lapino, as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> it's probably a bad I idea. Sword now. It's going to be really short. It's a bad idea. I already know this is a bad idea. I'm gonna go with it. He missed his old Perfect. skills. He welcomed them back like he was at a reunion. Good. This is Renato felt bad. dubious about the whole plan. With every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, Lapino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Ah, oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, 
Get a room, you two, said Latino. But the fleet was coming on fast, so they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye, without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. Well, Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped, with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, oh, she'd head for the Imperial outpost, yelled Lapino. You have to catch her. Well then. That worked. I'm not even sure how that worked. But it worked. Apparently, if you have a harebrained scheme, and you try hard enough, it'll somehow work. Burning geese, people a little bit on fire, giant mo watermelon. Who would have guessed? Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. <sighs> a very clever engineer named Elon Muskrat had got his start making floating platforms. Not many people knew that. He's obviously gonna be there for bridges anyway. Oh. Oops. Oh. So that's what that does. I'm definitely not going to make it there before her. I wonder what I could make with all these sword crafting materials, thought Renato. A sword? Maybe one day I'll figure this out. You cool. I have no idea what that is. This way. Nope. Nope. 
Closing on her. He could smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Maybe it didn't have to end that way. Maybe he could talk to her. But after all, there were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. See what you dick about it? Bench. Renata wondered what he could make with it. I tried. Renato reached the outpost. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, please. I'm enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit-chat, would you? Said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the far era, Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? away from the Nexus. Renato could see the fear in Zenobia's eyes. I can't take it to those creatures at the base. He whispered to Lapino. Ah, you've gone soft. Soft in the head. We captured her for what she knows. I'll take it to the mountains. Tell all the horrible things the Emperor's done. Yeah, believe me. She'll turn. And he turned the wheel. 
the hell you will? shouted Lapino, and he grabbed the wheel back from him. The two of them wrestled for control of the ship. It shot off like a mad sparrow. Suddenly, Renato was falling. Ah, great. I may have made a bad decision. I regret nothing. When he came to, Zenobia was standing over him. Why didn't you take me to the base to be interrogated? She demanded. Do you know what's left of people they interrogate? This is some trick, isn't it? To make me fall for you again. Well, I won't. Oh, go on then. Scurry back to your ravens. I can't stop you. But strangely, she didn't. As Renato set off to find the Farfarer, she followed him. Keeping just out of sight of the ravens. Interesting. Once you try it, you're hooked. Which way do I go? I will go this way. chest was really horrible. Get it? Uh. Trust a raven further than you could throw one. But did vertical drop count? <laughs> She moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. Well, that was incredibly imperfect. Praise the sun. <laughs> uh, dark souls. I will praise the sun. The sun has been praised. I have no idea where I'm going.
That was incredibly imperfect. As Renato stopped to sniff the wind, Zenobia came up, still mad. Did you really think you'd just talk me into betraying my father? Oh yeah, sure, that was exactly my plan. Then why aren't you even talking to me? Because I've never talked you into anything in my life. They're gonna court-martial you for letting me go. He caught a whiff of the Farfarer. Wet rope, tar, and a cask of Scoble ale he'd spilt last year. It hmm. was that way. That must be some really strong ale. Later, lady. Bye, lady. We spin, boys. Spin. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Renato's paws were getting numb. Calaveras really didn't want company, did he? Calaveras. Renato wondered if he should have taken Zenobia to the rebel base for real. Maybe she wasn't playing him after all. After the bleak talk about the Emperor's dark secrets, he was regretting his suspicion. Farfarer had crashed in some rocks. There was no sign of Lupino. Zenobia caught up. All that kid stuff in Swordfu school. Look, you know, look, that's the past. We, we, we're adults now. We, we have duties to other people. We have destinies. What are you talking about? And you are the most arrogant, slow witted, light fingered, mercenary, immoral, reckless. Run away with me, said Renardo, and he realized he meant it. Well, just like that, she demanded. I will, if you will. So she kissed him. And it was the best kiss he'd ever had. They held hands as they boarded the farfare. Renardo felt light-hearted, like the winds that were playing the ringing like a balalaika. But Lupino, I need to go back to Lupino, he said, suddenly realizing. He could have been captured. A prisoner. He's not. How'd you know? He saw something in her eyes he didn't understand. He fell, didn't he? Into the abyss. She looked away. Wouldn't answer. She stabbed him. A bolt smashed through the Farfarer's keel. The broken ship plummeted out of the clouds. Well, damn. That's the second time it's done that. I need a better ship. One that stops plummeting. Maybe if it didn't fall so often. Renato picked himself off the deck. They were alive. We have to get to my private ship. She said. Do you trust me? I guess I must, he said. You go on ahead. Clear the path, she said. I can't kill my own soldiers. He wanted to say that he didn't trust her. That he had no idea what he was getting into. But he had no choice, did he? He was following his heart. That's what it means to be a hero. You had to follow your heart. Nope. That's a bad idea. Don't do what Javert does. Don't do it. If you follow your heart, you might accidentally explode. And not in the good way. 
yes, there's a good way to explode. Don't question it. Shut up. I don't have that sword. I can sleep here. This was way better than being able to shrink down to the size of an ant. What was that all about anyway? I don't know. I don't know why he said that. Here. Treasure. I love treasure. Yes. I got fire. I love fire. He felt like Tarzan. Take that. Bad. What? I can't move. Uh, what? I couldn't move for a couple seconds. Teleport away. Sometimes, we're not a really hated inanimate objects. Don't worry, I hate inanimate objects too. Because just look at them. So inanimate. So fragile and breakable. With loot in it. I love loot. Over here. I want to see. What is treasure? Yes. The water. This. Let me move crystal. Okay. Must all share in our hatred of inanimate objects. Where the hell am I? That had gone rather well, actually. Come on. tells me this was an incredibly bad idea to do to go this route I'm hoping in the now end that it's a good idea things. 
Oh, that would be amazing. It would be like having a boat. Because it is a boat. Well, that killed me. This kills the man. Hey, wanna hook up? What? Why couldn't I move? Oh, because I was using click, not. Oh, he didn't fly off in the edge. I wish he flew off the edge. It made this whole fight better. What the hell? Why are they firing the cannons? They paused to catch their breath. It was strange to be so close to her. What are you thinking? He asked. I'm trying very hard not to think. Me too, he said. Up ahead. He could see the thin silver of Zenobia's personal ship. It looked fast. They would leave all this behind. Or she'll kill me. I don't know. I'm getting that feeling. Treasure! Yosh! Where am I going? Damn it. I got it. I got it. Ready to take on new powers. I am power. Oh, wait. Uh, till next time, people. Goodbye.